All right, adventurers, welcome to All Play. Uh, today we're looking at the last challenge within the main wings of Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project Puzzle Lab. It's the new solo adventure within the latest expansion release. Uh, let's go ahead and get into it. Enough, Glotron. It is time for something more illuminating. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. All right. Again, we're doing survival, which means we need to survive the he boss's hero power. Ultimately, we need to get to full health. Our lab attracts the best and brightest lasers, that is. Oh, boy. You will now test my latest laser. It is truly brilliant. All right, so this is Crystal Smith Kangor, and he has Lord Draxus in play. It is a 3-5 that reads Battle Cry. Destroy your hero and replace it with Lord Draxus. It doesn't matter too much right here. Uh, we are a warlock. Uh, we have 12 health, and our hero ability is draw a card and take two damage. There are no cards in our deck. There are no cards in our opponent's deck. And we have two cards in hand. We have the Phasing Portal. Uh, it reads, choose a minion, put it on the bottom of your deck. And Demonic Research, this turn, your cards cost health instead of mana. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Light can be harnessed in so many ways. So I think this game wants us to abuse how Lord Draxus works. When you play Lord Draxus, he, re he literally replaces your hero. So you'll see him, his image here. His attack will be here. And his health will be here. His health of 15 is full health. That's what the game wants us to get to. Full health. So we need to play Phasing Portal to start to put Lord Draxus in our deck. Now Lord Draxus costs what? Uh, nine. So if we were to cast him, he would cost nine mana. But we're going to use Demonic Research to instead pay health. Okay. Okay. So that would mean we would need to have at least nine health, which we have. But we also need to draw the card, and we'll use our hero ability to draw the card. It will cost two damage, so Draxus is really going to cost us 11 health to play, which is fine because we have 12. But as soon as we play Draxus, we're going to go to full health. So Demonic Research. And then we can use our hero ability, draw a card, and take two damage. So now Jaraxxus is going to cost 9. You can see in the top left corner is replaced uh, 9 health instead of 9 mana. It's our symbol for health instead of our symbol for mana. You so we're going to go all the way to 1. But when we play him, he's our new hero. And we are at full health. Perfect. Perfect. You got to abuse the fact that he is a hero card. Oh, come on. This isn't... No. This this isn't cool. That is acceptable. Let us amp things up. Like, I get... This This is a novel card, but this isn't cool. <laughs> All right. Kangor's side of the field. He has four turret sentinels. They are four, four... I'm sorry. Four, eight mechs that read, after your opponent plays a minion, attack it, and death rattle, refresh all mana crystals. This isn't cool. We are a paladin with nothing on the board and one health. Our hero ability is active. It is summon a 1-1 silver hand recruit. There are no cards in either of our decks. Our hand from left to right, we have the Grime Street Outfitter. It is a 1-1 with battle cry. Give all your minions in your all minions in your hand plus one plus one. Then we have the Paragon of Light. Uh two five that reads while this minion While this minion has three or more attack, it has taunt and lifesteal. Again, two copies of that. We have two cop. I'm sorry, one copy of Wicker Flame Bristle Burn, a two-two with Divine Shield, Taunt, and Life Steal. Uh, we have two copies of the Glowstone Technician, a three-four that reads Battle Cry. Give all minions in your hand plus two plus two. 
And then we have the Moat Lurker, a 3-3 that reads Battle Cry, destroy a minion, and Death Rattle, resummon it. Okay. So I think the best place to start would be the Grime Street Outfitter. He's going to make everybody in our hand bigger, which means they'll be able to deal more damage to these clowns, which is what we're going to need. Uh, the trick with this monstrosity is remembering... The trick with this is to remember that they're going to attack from left to right, and they're only going to attack if the minion that I play is still alive. When I play this, only the first one's going to attack because the first one's going to kill them. Accidents. They happen, you know? So he's going to make everybody bigger, but then he's going to die to the first one. Okay. So now when we play the Paragons of Light, they're also going to have Taunt and Lifesteal because they have reached what they need to. Uh, they're going to survive the first attack, but die to the second one. But if I play them, I'm not going to be able to kill. Actually, nah. If I play them, I'm not going to be able to kill one of these. So I think I actually need to. I'm not sure. I think I need to play Moat Lurker now. If I play Moat Lurker now. If I play Moat Lurker now and kill one of these three then when I play a paragon of light next they're gonna kill another one Do not look directly into the laser. actually I don't know to be honest I don't know that I want to play them now or I'm sorry that I want to play moat lurker and then paragon of light because I'm only gonna be spending three mana before I refresh what if I just kill this one? Because I'm going to be spending that mana. It's going to be gone. Okay. So he's going to attack here. He's dead. And then he comes back. Okay. So now if I play a Paragon of Light, I'm going to heal for three. It's going to survive the first one, but die to the second. It's going to deal three to both of them. This is going to be a one. This is going to be a five. Let me light the way. Shoot, should I have played? I think I might have wanted to play. If I could have played a Glowstone Technician first, then this would have killed that first one. Dang, I hope I ain't mess up. I hope I ain't mess up. If I play this, he's going to kill the first one. For This one's going to be at one health. Ultimately, he's going to kill this one. You want to be real about it, he's going to kill this one. That's effectively what's going to happen. Because I need these two to be pretty pretty big so they can hold damage. That's the thing. They need to hold damage as much as possible so they can deal enough to heal me. So let's do this. Alright, so that dies. Back to full. Now, if I play this, if I play this, I'm wasting mana. So, do I play the Paragon of Light or do I play Bristleburn? I think I play Bristleburn. He can hold off one attack, he'll take damage from the second and kill the third. I'm sorry, die on the third. Meanwhile, this one dies on the second. Bristle burn. I'm on fire. Yeah. So it's five, ten, fifteen. This dies. I get mana back. I need ten points. Well, I need eight. If I play this, there's my eight. Let me light the way. If I would have played him. They both would have died and had nothing for her to deal damage to. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Kangor side. Uh, from left to right, we have the Mana Wraith. A 2-2 that reads all minions cost one more. 
Here we have the Nerubar Weblord, uh, one four that reads means with battle cry costs two more. Then we have Lord Jaraxxus, a three fifteen with battle cry destroy your hero and replace it with Lord Jaraxxus. Then we have the Turret Sentinel back again once again. <laughs> A 4-8 mech that reads, after your opponent plays a minion, attack it, and death rattle refresh all Chris, all metal crystals. And then we have the Nerubian Unraveler, a 5-5 five five that reads, spells cost two more. We got to get rid of a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, our hand from left to right. Oh, I'm sorry. These lasers also drive the cats here crazy. We're a priest with one health, and our hero ability is active. It's restored to health. There's no cards in either of our decks. Our cards from left to right. We have Silence. Silence, a minion. We have Elven Archer, a 1-1 that reads Battle Cry, deal 1 damage. Tentacle and Azoth, a 1-1 that reads Death Rattle, deal 1 damage to all minions. We have Zola the Gorgon. Battle Cry, uh, sorry, a 2-2 with Battle Cry. Choose a friendly minion. Add a golden copy of it to your hand. We have the Bright-Eyed Scout, a 3-4 that reads Battle Cry, draw a card, change its cost to 5. And we have Shadow Madness, gain control of an enemy minion with 3 attack or less until end of turn. And then in Tomb, choose an enemy minion, shuffle it into your deck. Okay, so there's plenty of things we could do, but this cost is the problem. All these all these things making things cost more is the problem. We could entomb uh, Lord Jaraxxus. Ooh, do we have a way to draw? I guess this would be our way to draw. We entomb Lord Jaraxxus, use Bright-Eyed Scout to draw it, change its cost to five, and then play Lord Jaraxxus. Um, and that's the easy way to win. The problem is all these things are making things cost a lot more. A lot more! Too much more. Okay. So let's see. Uh, things that we've seen in other puzzles, like in other wings, I could hit my own tentacle on the Zoth with that Elven Archer, but that's expensive. Six mana to deal one damage to everybody is expensive. The ride bends to my will, and I will it to destroy. So what if instead I play tentacle on the Zoth, just, I just play it outright, and this attacks it. That's one damage to all minions? Yeah, that's one to all minions. So that's two damage to this. Okay. We also need to not kill Jaraxxus. So he attacks. One damage all around. I need to get rid of this clown. And they get rid of this clone. I think. Okay, if I play Elven Archer, it's one damage. If I attack here, I can play Elven Archer and kill it. Elven Archer will still be alive. I don't know if I need her or not. And this will die before the archer. I'm sorry, before he even gets to attack the archer. I really need my mana, though. I really need my mana, though. Okay. This is make. This is gonna make it cost a lot more. So. This guy. My boy. It was my boy making my spells cost more. I thought it was one of these two for some reason. This is the battle cry, and this is just minions all together. Okay. So I can play silence for free now. And then I can play the archer for two instead of four. That's still a lot, but you know. What if I don't kill him? What if I instead drop this on this because he's going to attack the archer anyways? Yeah, let's do that. So I can play this for two here. He's going to attack and I get my mana back. But now everything costs normal. Which is what I want most in life. Things that cost normal. Okay. It costs five. So. 
So I'll put that in. This costs five. I, I don't know how to, how am I supposed to play it? Oh, I did it out of order. <laughs> I did it out of order. I was so worried about making things cost normal. I was so worried about making things cost normal that I did not get my boy Jerexus when I needed to. Okay. So let's, let's do it over. Tentacle and is off. I attack here. I can silence this and steal Jaraxxus. That's where that extra six mana was supposed to go. Okay, got it. I do Elven Archer here. He attacks. And now everything costs normal. So I can play Bright Eyed Scout, draw Jaraxxus, and play him because he costs five now. And now we're at full health. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Delightful. It is all becoming crystal clear. I get it because he's he. Uh, whatever. Uh, finally, we don't have to deal with the boy, the turret boy. Instead, we have the corrupted heal bot over on Kangor's side of six six mech that reads death rattle restore eight health to the enemy hero. Our side of the board, we have the mistress of mixtures, a two two that reads death rattle restore four health to each hero. And Sylvanas Windrunner, a 5-5 that reads Death Rattle, take control of a random enemy minion. Uh, we're Warlock with 9 health, and our hero ability is draw a card and take 2 damage. There's no cards in either of our decks. Uh, our hand from left to right. We got a full hand, right? Yeah, full hand. Our hand from left to right. Dark Pack, destroy a friendly minion. The life can be hard. Destroy a friendly minion. Restore four health to your hero. We have two copies of that. We have Drain Soul, Life Steal, deal two damage to a minion. We have Voodoo Doll, Battle Cry, choose a minion, and Death Rattle, destroy the chosen minion. Uh, Treachery, give a friendly minion. I'm sorry, choose a friendly minion and give it to your opponent. Oh, we have two copies of Treachery. Then we have Cataclysm, destroy all minions, discard your hand. We have the Spirit Singer Umbra. A 3-4 that reads, after you summon a minion, trigger his death rattle effect. Then we have the <laughs> then we have the carnivorous cube. A 4-6 that reads, battle cry, destroy a friendly minion, death rattle, summon two copies of it. And finally, demonic research. This turn, your cards cost health instead of mana. I laughed because this is very clearly. We'll put this, laser to good use. This, is very, sure. this is very clearly what we want. Uh, Let's see. Let's see. Where to start? I really hope it's not. I really hope it's actually. We have nine. Ooh, but that's stupid. That's stupid. I was I was gonna say this is this is clearly something powerful. But we have nine health. This is risky. Let me see something to the enemy hero. Do not look directly into the laser. Destroy all minions. Okay. Okay, I think I see something. I think I see something. But the only way to pull it off is to start with demonic research because it's too everything's too expensive. Everything in this hand is too expensive, even this shit. <laughs> Okay, the only way to pull this off, this insanity off, is demonic research. This turn, your cards cost health instead of mana. Okay. So, I want death rattles to happen a lot. A lot. So, let's start with the Spirit Singer Umbra. The greatest is now, we could play Carnivorous Cube, but we lose. The second we play it, we lose. 
So that's out. That's out of pocket. That's out of pocket. Choose a friendly and give it to your opponent. No. Choose a man. And I'll destroy it. No. I still do too much. No. Destroy friendly and restore four health. Okay. So really, what this reads is: destroy a friendly, you get three health for free. Destroy a friendly, you get three health. Okay. Okay. That puts us at eight, and then I can start doing stuff. Destroy a friendly, you get three health. Okay. So we went from five to eight. Now, I want a bunch of these. I want a bunch of these. It's going to heal them. It's going to heal us, though. I'm sorry. It's not going to heal us. It's going to heal Kangor. Would I have to give him up? Choose a friendly and give it up. Choose a friendly give it up. Okay. Yes. Okay. I got this. I got this. I play this and destroy this. It's going to heal Kangor. Whatever. But this is immediately going to go off and make two copies of this. I'm guessing on my side. I'm going to assume on my side. Yeah, on my side. No. That's not what I want. If only we could glean some insight. That's not what I want because after I play this, it's going to cost me five health. I'm going to be down to three health. There's going to be little I can do. Let's take this out instead. This dies. I get four health, and then I get two more copies of it thanks to the Umbra. So I go to seven. Okay. So it triggers. Yes, yes. 15. I can do a lot more stuff now. Okay. Now, if I kill this, I get two more of these clowns. I'm sorry. Yeah. I kill this. I get two more copies of these clowns. They're going to go off. Okay. So I'll, he I'll pay one. I'll be down one. I'll heal for four. So I'll be up three. Two more of these go off. So I'll be up three, four, four. I'll be up 11. I'll be at 26. And I just need four health after that. I play this on one of those. Uh, that's not going to work. That's not going to work because I'm paying life. Oh, I just got to outright kill everything. Cataclysm. Okay. These lasers also drive the cats here crazy. Okay. Uh... I kill this. I'm at 26. Let's do that. That's the right car, right? Yeah, destroy friendly. So that goes off. And that goes off. I'm at 26. If I cataclysm right now. Oh, yeah, I can do that. If I cataclysm right now, that's it, right? Destroy all minions. Discard your hand. I heal all the way up. That's it, right? Oh, don't tell me I'm about to goof it all up. I ain't want this to be anything stupid. Okay, we heal all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> all right. More of these jokers. Okay, so we got on Kangor's side, we have two copies of the Nerubar Weblord, a 1-4 that reads, Minions with Battle Cry cost two more. So effectively, all minions that, that have a Battle Cry cost four more. Our side, we have Lord Drexus, a 3-5 with Battle Cry. Destroy your hero and replace it with Lord Drexus. Okay. Uh, we are a Warlock with 12 health. And our hero ability is active. It says, just, I'm sorry, draw a, draw a card. It takes two damage. It looks like we're going to find a way to put Draxus back in our deck so we can draw him and play him. Okay. Our hand from left to right, we have a full hand. We have there a full hand. Many ways to mitigate or absorb damage. 
Okay, from left to right, we have phasing portal. Choose a minion, put it on the bottom of your deck. Uh, sacrificial pact, destroy a demon, restore five health to your hero. Dark pact, destroy a friendly minion, restore four health to your hero. Mistress of mixtures, death rattle, restore four health to each hero. Void ripper, a 3 3 demon with battle cry, swap the attack and health of all other minions. Which would Piper, 3-3 three, three that reads, Battle Cry, draw the lowest cost minion from your deck. We have a 6-6. Six, six, I'm sorry. We have the Dread Inferno, a 6-6 six, six that reads, Battle Cry, deal one damage to all other characters. We have Chill Maw, a 6-6 six, six dragon that reads, Taunt and Death Rattle. If you're holding a dragon. Light bends to my will, and I will it to destroy. A 6-6 six, six taunt, a 6-6 six, six dragon with Taunt and Death Rattle. If you're holding a dragon. Deal three damage to all minions. Demonic Research. Oh, God. This turn, your cards cost health instead of mana. And an 8-8. Eight, eight, an 8-8. Eight, eight, I don't know why I keep reading them wrong. Alex Straza, an 8-8 eight, eight dragon that reads Battle Cry. Set a hero's remaining health to 15. Okay. Okay. Uh, If we want to get rid of anything. What was it? Swap the attack. This and then what was it? Five oh this one here. Yeah, that's not gonna work. It's not gonna work, Captain. It's not gonna work. That's not gonna work either. Do we really want demonic research off the top? Not look directly into the, laser. the only demon we could destroy is Draxus. That's not how it's gonna go. We clearly want to put Draxus in our deck. Uh here we go. Another demonic research. I actually don't like this card. I don't like paying health. That card makes me nervous. Okay. Okay. So let's see now. If I could play this and kill it, I'm gaining three health. If I could play this and kill it, I'm gaining three health. If I could play this and kill it for free, I'm gaining three health. Could play this, but that's not going to kill it. To all. If I play this, I want to switch their health around first. If I play Chilma. I guess I'm d dark packing it, so I'm actually gaining seven health altogether. Oh, I'm sorry, six health. Side effects? No. Trust me. <gasps> okay, so we're up six. We're up to 18. We need 12 more health. Alex Straza? She's not going to help me, actually. She's going to hurt me. She's costing me. Overall, she's costing me three health if I play her. Alex Straza actually might not be the thing. Now that I found a way to get above 15, Alex Straza may not be the way. If I put Draxus in my deck, then draw the Witchwood Piper. I'm sorry, then play the Witchwood Piper. 17. That's it. Looks like that's it. It's, this was really simple. I, I'll have just one health before I play Jaraxxus. If I put him in my deck, then I drop the Witchwood Piper. Ooh, yeah, it costs nine. Okay. Come dance to my song. Oh, shoot. Because of them. I can't afford Draxus. I forgot he has Battle Cry. He casts his Battle Cry. I, uh, only thing I can afford. This is a demon. Oh, it's a demon. <laughs> it's a demon. Okay. Uh, then now we can afford Draxus. You face Draxus. Did it. You have a bright future before you. Ah! Incredible! I get great to you. Priority one access to the Doomsday Project. All right. All right.
did it. All right. Check it out. Check it out, gang. We did all of the chapter. I'm sorry, all the challenges within each wing. And we've now got access to the secret lab. I'm going to assume that each of these are one after the fourth of each wing. So that means we'll be taking them all on. <laughs> oh, man, this is this is hard. I know it's going to get hard. I know it's going to get hard. All right, guys, this is going to do it for today. We're going to we're going to pick this up next time. We'll pick this up next time. If you enjoyed this video and would love to see more then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever a video gets posted to the channel or whenever we do something special like Dr. Boom's Boom's Day Project. Puzzle Lab. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Altplay. We've got Priority 1 access, y'all. Yeah.